probably heard, we ain't in the prisoner taking business. We in the killing Nazi business. And cousin, business is uh, booming. <laughs> when I first sat down to write it, it literally was, oh, I'm gonna do a bunch of guys on a mission World War II movie. Now, it is that. It is a bunch of guys and there's on a mission. It's more than that, which I want all my genre pieces to be more than just what I first set out to do. But that's kind of how I, that was how I first sat down, was just a bunch of guys on a mission World War II movie. Adventure. Hey, Donnie. Guy's German here wants to die for country. Oblige him. It was very different to act in a violent scene rather than direct one. And when I'm shooting Hostel, you know, those movies are so much about those moments. So when I'm shooting them, as I'm chopping up body parts, I just get happier and happier and happier because you know the movie's going to work. When they, you cut out the eye and the goo runs for it, it's like, ah, we're going to do this movie. I, I'm picturing the audience screaming. At the end of the day, I'm so happy. When I'm killing, I knew that this, this had to be real. This couldn't be a gimmick. I knew people were going to grade me extra hard in the curves. They know I'm friends with Quentin. They know I'm a director. But when I come out, you have to look in this guy's eyes and feel this guy is tortured and that pain, and that's got to be real. So what's the plan? We punch those goons out, take their machine guns, and burst in there blasting. Is that the plan? That's about it. Or not. Tarantino is this immensely acute observer. He sees uh, and hears and feels uh, vibes. That, that are so delicate and so, so subtle, and it all translates onto the screen. We're gonna be doing one thing and one thing only, killing Nazis. Sound good? Yes, yes sir! The funny thing about Tarantino in the audition process is he loves to act so much, he loves to perform, and he'll read the part with you. But he can get so wrapped up in his own part that he sometimes doesn't pay attention to you while you're auditioning. So, you know, I would have these things that I was really proud of, or I'd think I'd really nail it on a certain, you know, a certain take, and um, he would just be, you know, buried in the script doing his thing, and the casting director would be like, hey, did you notice what, um, what PJ just did? I, I thought it was interesting, you know? And I was like, oh, no, I hope he didn't miss what I did. There have been two recent developments regarding Operation Kino. I just loved the story. I thought it was so ballsy. Um, and I'm a huge fan of Quentin, so it was, it was a pretty yeah. no-brainer. <laughs> I think it's an amazing story. Very funny, very cruel, very violent, very dramatic. It's a mix of a lot of emotions. It's impossible to sum up what Inglorious Bastards is. It's got that tension of Reservoir Dogs, the style of Pulp Fiction, the characters of Jackie Brown, the adrenaline of Death Proof, the action of Kill Bill all combined into one. I think it's his masterwork. Yes, 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 yes.